Hey guys, it's Maddie with Maddie B Wellness. And today I'm going over standing exercises. So last week we covered four chair exercises. Today we've got four standing. So if you've been doing the chair exercises, that's wonderful. Now you can add on four more with a standing position. And we are relatively warming up the same muscles that we would for the chair video. So if you haven't been doing that one, now is your chance to try some more exercises. So we'll start out with exercise number one. I call this the feel good roll down. And it's exactly what it sounds like. You'll tuck your chin into chest and then slowly collapse vertebrae by vertebrae. Right, I'll show you guys the side view. And then when you get close to the floor, notice how my legs are slightly bent. You don't wanna be locked out, that's too hard on the hamstrings. So warm yourself up a little bit, slightly bend the knees, maybe hang out here for just a second. And then come up the way you went down, stacking vertebrae by vertebrae on top. So we'll do it all together. Rolling down, tuck chin into chest, all the way down to the toes. And then coming up the same way that you went down. That is the last thing to come up. Go through this four or five times, a hundred times, whatever you feel like doing, just to get the spine a little warmed up and the hamstring is super warmed up, right? Exercise number two, it is called a step knee. And it's exactly what it sounds like. But of course, it has to be a little bit more complicated. All it is, is we bring knee to hip height, right? So if you look to the side, I'm bringing up my knee. And another option for this exercise is to, voila, hold onto a chair and do the same thing, right? There's no shame in that, okay? But if you wanna work on your balance a little bit more, maybe put the chair to the side and try it without. The one thing I want you guys to look out for is making sure that our trunk stays where it's at, okay? So a lot of times in our exercises, I see things like bringing knee to chest, bringing chest to knee, curving everything that's going on back here. You wanna keep it straight, all right? Keeping it right in front. There's no sense in, in pulling everything in together, even though that might be a cool dance move. But we'll keep it simple, and you can add some arms into it, right? Tapping the knee on top, giving yourself a little bit of a shoulder warm up with it. We love that. Moving on to exercise number two, number three. Number three, our hip rotators, okay? So this one is very similar to the step knee exercise that we just covered. This one, we start out with a knee, okay? And then we take the knee out to the side and then bring it all the way back down. The thing we have to look out for here, again, grab that chair if you need to, is not allowing our entire body to come around and bring it back down in order for our hip to rotate. So you only want to focus on the hip here. When you get to the point where your hip is like, no, 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 set your leg down, we'll start this over, that's where we stop. You want to keep the hip square to the front and just open it as much as it'll allow you to. You'll notice how my hip stays completely facing the same direction as it started. Cool, and you'll feel that in your hip. Like I said, if you guys have any questions on these, just drop it below and we'll take it all together. Now, holding on to, to the chair or not holding on to the chair, that's up to you. Cool, you can walk with these. Like I said, maybe some dance moves. Okay, exercise number four. I call this the wide stance dance. It is a Maddie B Wellness original. We'll take our feet out to a wide stance. So pretend you are in the center of a perfectly square room. Okay, I'm in the center. I take my legs out a lot further than shoulder width. So now I'm comfortable. I've got a huge center of gravity right below me. And my toes are facing the corner of that perfectly square room. Cool, so you don't want them all the way out like a ballerina. Today we're not doing ballet. Maybe we will someday. And you don't want them all the way facing forward. You want your hips open just a little bit. Okay, arms come up and we start our wide stance dance. We're gonna drop our arms to the left and rotate. Let the back curve naturally and slightly bend the legs. And then bring yourself back to a standing position. Go into it. If you wanna sing with it, you can sing with it. If you wanna add an extra dance move at the bottom, go for it. Just feel, this feels good in our backs, our hips, our legs. Get the arms warmed up. If this doesn't work for you, having your arms up here, maybe take them down or you can throw them away all together and just move. Maybe bend a little bit more than you would. Okay, once you finish 10, 
a hundred, a thousand on one side, they'll complete the same going the other way. So this time I'm going to rotate to my right and do the same thing, just dropping my arms and I'm making a circle. So there we have it, four exercises. And just so I can refresh you, or you can rewind the video. We have the roll down, where we take chin to chest, roll all the way down, slightly bent knees, and then come all the way back up. Exercise number two, we have step knee. Remember, chair is an option for this one, just bringing the knee out in front, not allowing our trunks to come any bit closer than they need to be, right? So keeping it just where it's supposed to be at. And then exercise number three, we have those hip rotators. So just adding a knee out to the step knee, taking it up, bringing it out, dropping it back down, rotating, or switching to the other side. Okay, this can be done with or without the chair. And just focus on keeping mostly the hip squared to the front, right? You don't wanna turn the whole body with it. And then like we just did, our wide stand stance, taking our feet out to the corners of our perfectly squared room, arms up, dropping down, bending the legs slightly, letting the back curve out once, just getting that feel good dance in. If you guys have any questions, any comments, let me know. With these exercises, I would go through them like our chair about two to three times, perform them each for about 10 reps. And this all depends on you. You could do it once, you could do it a hundred times, you could do it one rep for each, you know, that's up to you and how you feel.